disruption in the boardroom. Hines County Board of Supervisors Vice President David Archie loudly objecting to Board President Creedell Calhoun's plan to remove Archie from his position. If you saw the meeting, you know why. Uh, he has been disruptive over the last few months. The only thing that he had to do is take the item up at the appropriate time. According to Archie, Calhoun didn't follow proper parliamentary procedures when he put the item on Monday's agenda to remove him from his position as vice president and president-elect. You can't force his board to bring an agenda to the floor that is totally improper and illegal. And that is exactly what he was trying to do. I probably we could have written uh, the order a little bit better. Uh, and, and I will the next time. Just make sure, hey, if we're going to be exact on point. This board will not move forward. This board will not move forward. This board will not move forward. Calhoun was forced to recess the meeting several times because Archie kept shouting him down and refusing to stop speaking. We backed down. We changed our mind uh, because we had such craziness. Archie claims Calhoun wants to remove him because Archie voted against the plan to spend half a million dollars on a reentry program for ex-cons. And Archie raised questions about the person Calhoun put in charge of spending those funds. And at the end of the day, we're not going in the back room to cut any deals. We, the things that we need to talk about, we're going to talk it before the public.